Hello friends, today we are going to see how to load job requisition using SCM data loader. Right, so that I have downloaded the job requisition template. So I am loading the job requisition and posting details for that particular job requisition. Right, so here I have copied those metadata attribute in the Excel so that it will be easier to prepare the SDS. Now, the, as we have seen in earlier videos, the metadata will be the merge, then object name, then requisition number, you can enter anything. Here, recruiting type. So, recruiting type, whatever the recruiting type available in the system, you can find in the HR lookups. For that, you will navigate to the uh, data model and check in the HR lookups, whatever the recruiting type you want to create or you want to use. All the recruitment types you can find in the HR lookups using the lookup type right so here you can create the look uh, sorry uh, in where condition you will use the lookup type as aura underscore recruiting or IIC recruit so that you will get the recruiting type whatever available in the lookups data so here you can find these are the lookups available for the recruiting type so we will use create the job requisition for executives which is the code is the aura underscore executive we have to copy the code not the meaning so in recruiting type we have to pass the code right not the meaning again i'm saying recruiting type should be the lookup code not meaning that right? then we'll load the job code so job code as you are, you all are aware that job code will get you in the workforce structure so copy that job code Again, same for the job family code for which job family you are uh, uh, requisition you are going to raise. You will uh, use the job family code from workforce structure. Same for the job function in for which job function and job code job family. All these workforce structure details you can find in the uh, in the workforce details, right? So number of openings. So how many number of openings you want to create for this particular requisition? Right. So you can enter any number of openings or you can mention the unlimited openings for this particular requisition. Right. So here I am mentioning the two number of openings for this particular job requisition. Right. So as we have uh, given the limited number of openings, so that's we, well, for that we have used unlimited opening flag as no. Then requisition title you can uh, you can enter anything as per your requirement you can enter anything as a requisition title. Then hiring manager so who will be the hiring manager you can pass the that manager ID over here so who will be the hiring manager for this particular job requisition you can find those person ID from the per all people app table so here we are querying the per all people app table and find out our hiring manager's person ID to. Uh, uh, to give that particular person ID in the our metadata or SDL. <coughs> Sorry. Right. So we will we will use this particular person number XX test one two as a hiring manager. So we'll take it the person ID here and we'll pass that particular person ID for that particular our SDL. Right. So we have copied this particular person ID and pa we'll pass it as in the hiring manager ID field, right? So here we are changing the format so that it will be more clear. So then we will again it will be change the format. Then recruiter ID. So who will be the recruiter for this particular uh, job requisition? The same again we will query one of the recruiter for which we want to uh, will be the recruiter so that we will check the person ID from this query and we will take it out the person ID from here and we will copy the same person ID as a recruiter ID in this particular job requisition template right then primary location ID so primary location ID you can use to uh, you can use the primary location ID for that particular job requisition so here uh, you cannot directly enter the location id as a primary location id over here you have to give the geographic name of that particular 
location suppose if you are entering the uh, any location so first you have to identify the geographic name using the uh, table so for that where you will get those geographic names so you will get those names in the yz underscore geographies table so in that table you will find on particular location so uh, here i am using the perth as a location so here i will select the uh, perth location for this particular geography uh, geographies table so here i am selecting the geography name as a perth and get the geography code from that particular table so that we which we will pass in the our as a primary location uh, primary location id field because this will be the geographically uh, linked with each other depending on that particular uh, setups right so here we are copying the geography name wherever you find the geography name and geography code so I, for that particular uh, data you can select that particular id from that uh, geography id so as we are entering the data for the uh, australia so you can find that particular id over here in this particular details and wherever you find the geography code for that particular record you can find the geography id and pass that particular geography id as a primary location id so here we are passing that wherever you find the geography type as a perth and the geography code as a perth that particular perth town details we are passing as a geographic uh, primary location id for this particular position right so same for the primary location id so primary location id will be your uh, location id for that uh, for this requisition so you can pass the requisition you can pass the location id uh, from our uh, workforce structure you can find the location details and that location code you can uh, find the location id using the location code and you can um, paste that location id as a primary work relationship id so here we are passing the location code as xx test underscore location 6 so using this query we will get the location id <coughs> right so once we will get the location id we will copy this particular location id and pass to the uh, in primary work location id field then again then we will enter the organization id over here <coughs> right so in organization id we will pass the geography uh, uh, geographic organization id for this particular recruitment uh, recruitment uh, organization tree right so you will get this organization details from the organization tree details in the workforce structure um, navigation so navigate to the my client group then go to the workforce structure to get the organization id because we are passing the organization for that particular recruitment tree sorry recruitment uh, job requisition so here we can um, navigate to the manage organization tree as we have given the location for the australia we will search the location australia location here we have selected the recruiting organization tree right so here we will select the australia legal entity so that as we have loaded uh, lo we are loading the australia look for the australia location so in edit you can find the organization id for this particular organization tree specific details so you can copy this particular tree node so that it will get hierarchical structure for that particular organization and the geographic location right so then you can pass here department name you can find the department name from the workforce structure same you can copy it over here for which department you are going to create this particular job requisition then again the, for the legal employer it is the same you can copy the legal employer for which legal employer you are hiring that particular or you are creating the position then what will be the worker type so here we are uh, entering the e for the employee then regular or temporary so we will use the regular employer then if that particular requisition for full-time employer or part-time so you, we can mention the full-time or part-time as per our requirement right so here we are selecting the full-time as we will create the full-time requirement then education level 
right so here education level you can again find those education level using the query whatever available in the instance using hr lookups right so you can query those uh, details so query the first hr lookup table and find the lookup type using yeah, it for the education level right so that you will get whatever the uh, education level mentioned or we, we have the lookup types defined for that education level those using from that only we can pick up any of the location uh, sorry any of the education level copy that uh, code for the bachelor's degree right so again the current phase code so what will be the phase code for this particular job requisition so for that first we will go to the data model and query for the IRC phases where you will get IRC phases B table where you will get all the phases defined in the system right so we'll use the code for that particular system right if you are aware of those codes then you can use those codes right so here we are uh, we will create the uh, job requisition with requisition underscore open phase code same for the current um, uh, state code we will post directly post this requirement so that uh, as we are uh, giving the details for posting details so we will directly use the current state as the posted right then now we will uh, we have to pass the external apply flow code so for that again we will query the irc app, uh, sorry irc apply flow table right in this table you will get all the flows details so you can copy the copy from here to prepare our data so as we uh, as we are uh, if it is the campus external each bit is a external simplified so whatever you can select you want to select you can select the data right then in position code you can pass the code of that particular position for which you are creating the uh, job requisition then what will be the base language code you can enter the base language code and the business unit name you can give it over here business unit name in business unit short code again the candidate selection process code so it is again you can mention whatever you want as per the details so i here i have used the orc faculty so likewise we have prepared the job requisition as we are creating this job requisition as a posted so that we have to enter these posting details with the start date and the external or internal posting so here we are entering the merge metadata then posting details which will be the update what will be the start date so we are going to enter start date over here for those we, we are for posting details so that this particular requisition will directly get posted into the system right so here we have mentioned on 23rd of august we will create post this particular detail right so if you want to use it for external only or internal only we can choose as per our requirement so here i am uh, creating for both internal as well as external then you can pass the requisition number for the link between the job requisition and the posting details right so as i said we will create the external as well as the internal posting on the specific date which is the 20, uh, 23rd of august so whenever you have prepared the uh, data or template in the excel so in that case you have to make sure that date format should be as per our requirement so once the everything looks good then you can save your file um, as a CSV with the csv extension on the required location local required location once the file has been saved then you can open that particular file csv file in the notepad plus plus right so we are opening that particular file in the notepad plus plus so here you can see wherever you have the null at that uh, we, we will get those column delimiters so you can remove those column delimiters because in above metadata we have uh, more data, more metadata or more attribute than the posting details so the additional um, delimiters will be added in the posting details record so here if you see the date formats are the different so you can change the date format as per the uh, you know, oracle required for this hdl right so in this case in the start date you have to pass the date format with the timestamp so you have to provide the date as well at this time time for this particular uh, 
posting details so you can provide the timestamps as well for these details so for the aura external and so we will provide the date with the timestamp right so now we will make it the zip file for this so we have prepared our HDL so we will zip file we we'll make it the first dat file sorry then we will create the dat file and then once the dat file is created then we will create the zip file and you can mention the any name to that zip file but the dat file should be the object top object name whatever the top object in our HDL right then we can import that particular zip file using the data exchange navigation so we'll open that navigation and go to the import and load and import that particular job requisition file right so we are importing that job requisition file we are submitting these details so that the system will import and load those files if the data is syntactically correct then it will import it will successfully import and if the data validation is also correct or data is, has been validated then our data will get loaded into the system right so if you see our data has been successfully loaded the now loading is in progress so here if you see our data has been successfully loaded right now we can see those details using the navigation so navigate to the my client group click on the hiring and click on the job requisition where you will get the job requisition details in your job requisition page like this you can load the one or multiple job requisition using the SM data loader right so thank you thanks for watching this video stay tuned bye